there's a lot going on. We got the watch party. Yep. We got Tom Brady's Hall of Fame induction. So people are going to be outdoors, out in the streets. It's going to be a good day. And just to be clear, this is not a roast of Tom Brady tonight, right? No. Right. No. Okay. It's a little <laughs> different. Good. Good. A lot of love. I don't think the temperatures are roasting today either. They will tomorrow. We're back into the mid to upper 80s for Thursday. Wow. And Friday will feel much like the middle of summer, not early summer. Thunderstorms are on the way, too. So okay. okay. We'll we got to deal with some good and bad here. A lot to look at. I think for the day today, it is slightly warmer. So we're right around 75 degrees for a high today, which is pretty seasonable for this time of year. But the heat really builds between Thursday and Friday, and that will feed into our chance for strong to maybe even severe thunderstorms. Also, speaking of heat, next week, the hottest week so far, not only this year, but even of last year as well. You'd have to go back to about 2022 to have consecutive days at or above 90 degrees. But that's in the forecast for much of New England next week. High pressure overhead today keeps us mostly dry. There will be a few scattered showers across Vermont and maybe even southern New Hampshire. Hot weather returns Thursday evening and into Friday with temperatures in the 80s to near 90. And it's this cold front that will really drop our temperatures down into the weekend for Father's Day weekend as milder air returns. But that cold front will also trigger very, very strong thunderstorms. Here's a look at the heat through the weekend and next week where temperatures Thursday and Friday are right around 84 to 85 degrees. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, three days in a row, near 90 degrees. The last time we had three days at 90 or above was August of 2022. It's a beautiful start to the day today. Cotton candy skies overhead of the Charles River. Of course, the sunrise out towards the east. You can see Encore there as well. You can see a QR code right here. What do you do with this QR code? Well, I'm giving you the moment now. Pull out the cell phone if you already haven't and scan it because it will get you the latest information on the new storm system that we are watching brewing right now that will be here on Friday throughout the afternoon, the evening and the overnight hours. So if you had graduation plans outdoors, proms perhaps, this is not the best forecast that will bode for uh, what that will not bode well rather for outdoor plans at about 70 to 71 degrees right around midday today. It's a mostly dry day with the exception of a few, and I do mean a few stray and quick showers that start to build across uh, the seacoast of New Hampshire this afternoon at about 1 to 2 in the afternoon and maybe in and around Boston. I've added a 20 percent chance of showers in the 10 day forecast. I don't really think we see rainfall all day today, so it's not a wet day. What I do want to show you is Friday and what we're sort of outlining for the chance of strong storms that firing. Some of those will likely be severe. We'll show you exactly where coming up in the next half hour. Travel will be impacted Friday afternoon. A lot of the guidance is very confident now in that, yes, not only are we looking at rain, we're looking at lines of frequent lightning, too, and damaging wind gusts near or above 60 miles an hour, with some downpours, by the way, leading to street flooding. So in the 10-day forecast, we've issued a first alert for Friday. The weekend, much calmer and cooler back into the mid-70s, but near 90 on the way for a lot of next week.